Right, very good uh, morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of Something for the Weekend presented by moi and him. Him, yes, Jonathan. So hello to you all. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Tony is out today, so they've raked the old fellow in to uh, present this week's special. So where are we going to start, Jonathan? I think it's the uh, Rig AA230 Zoom Rig Expert. Yeah, yes. so this is the latest version of the, um, the AA230 with the built-in Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're using it with uh, an app on your Android phone or a Windows computer. Uh, these are ever popular. They are insanely good value for money. For what yeah, you they get. are, aren't they? And they're ruggedly made too. And they are ruggedly like made. Design. End type on the top. This one goes up to 230 megs. This is about the nice sweet spot in the in the range. They are there's the A55 at the bottom end, all the way up to sort of like the A1400 at the top end. 340 quid, something like that. Mm, yeah, 33995. 33995 available on the web. That's the AA230 Zoom. Uh, and we've got a full range of um, antenna analyzers, of course. They're endless. So if you tap in antenna analyzer, you can view them all. But if you're confused, give Gary a, a call, um, our customer service support manager, and he can talk about them for hours. So do make sure you have a nice cup of coffee. He when often you start. does as well. He does actually, yeah. goes on and on. Um, right, next is um, Sanjin. Sanjin, um, we've been after for a while now, and thank you, Sanjin, for appointing us your UK distributor in our marketplace. Um, there's a full range of Sanjin, and you'll see them promoted on the back of Radio User shortly. Um, the ATS 909X2 looks very similar to me to a Sony product, uh, a 6800 that I used to sell many years ago with Bernie and Brenda from Amateur Radio Exchange. Um, what I like about Sanjin products, A, they feel really solidly made, and you'll actually see these products with other famous brand names on them, because Sanjin generally make products for lots of other uh, people. This one is a compact SSB, AM and FM portable receiver with built-in batteries. Audio quality, albeit we're in a, as, as Jonathan very correctly pointed out, The signal here is a joke, but there it is. Um, it looks like it is. I don't know if you can hear that over there, but the audio quality is tremendous. But there's a whole range of different products from San Jim. Please do check them out on their website. This one is 21495. So that would be considerably less than the Sony was selling for donkey's years ago. Uh, and if you want a larger format radio or even small little DAB converters for your car, Sanjin probably fits the bill. In fact, I use their base product at home uh, with audio output straight into my amplifier for DAB, FM, internet radio and everything else. And that's again another Sanjin product. Um, FT4XE? FT4, yeah, obviously dual band handheld. Where can you really go wrong with these? At the... Uh, you can't. You can't. You can't really, no. <laughs> uh, three year warranty, five watts out on two meters and 70 cents in FM. 65 pounds as they are now it's i mean with a full three-year warranty that's the thing that i, I can't know. understand how and again how can do it's it. so solidly built built isn't yeah. it with removable batteries and everything else um i went on about these when they first came out about three years ago yeah three years ago, ago i can't yeah. remember um but they really are nice and that's the ft4x 64.95 as jonathan says um, right, the Gypsy antennas, which is a new product to see we've got here. Yeah, in. so this is from Windcamp, who manufacture a whole load of um, accessories, accessories. Uh, mm. quite notably quite a few for the IC705. Mm -hmm. um, they've come out with this, what they call the Gypsy antenna, which is essentially it's a dipole antenna with a one-to-one -one ballon in the middle. So you could easily string that up in a tree or uh, up maybe a pole, maybe one of the DX Commander poles, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got these winding sections, so you wind out to the length you require, and these go between 40 and 6 metres. So for instance, if we roll it up to the first marker, um, it's got these little sort of markers all the way up the, the wire, um, and you can also, first one is obviously for 6 metres, and you go up from there. And I've noticed this is uh, die-cast alloy, these things, so they're, they're not going to break or snap off in a hurry. There's quite a bit of weight to that. There is quite a bit of weight, but... When you invest in it, you, you're going to actually use this for quite a long period of time. It's not um, going to fail. No, it's not. Not going to fail. Very good value for money, Seventy-one ninety-five. Even with its own little bag. Even with its own little bag. Fantastic. Right, Palstar. 
been selling power staff from the year dot. Paul and Eva Hrivnak uh, in the USA are manufacturing these. Um, Paul's a very clever RF engineer who's been making the power stars. You all know the 81K, or a lot of you do. It hasn't changed really at all since its uh, production. Uh, kilowatt tuning range, end feds, coax feds, everything with the nice vernier drives and of course the roller coaster counter so you really can get accuracy. These are finally available from stock there. Component supplies were severely um, interrupted because of you know what and those are now 66995. Gone up a little bit but not too much and I think that represents good value. You might change your rig often you probably always keep the same tuner like you would a power supply. Absolutely, yeah. You, you, no need to change it once you've got it. So that's a full range of power star. Look at uh, 82K on our website. Next. Next up, PTRX 9700. Just yes. Just down the front. So for a long time, we've done the PTRX 7300, which gives you that pad adapter output from the 7300. Uh, they've now done it for the 9700, so you now can get the full pad adapter on two meters, 70 centimeters and 23 cents. Uh, it's a little board that fits inside um, with, uh, with instructions of how to fit it, or we can fit it for you, um, which to be honest with you, having seen Gary do one, I would get Gary to fit it for me. Um, it, comes, it uses the uh, reference input SMA connector on the back of the, the 9700, and the nice thing is you don't lose that functionality of that port. The little splitter that Martin just showed uh, still enables you to put a 10 meg reference into the radio <coughs> if you still want to uh, sync it up with uh, a 10 meg reference. Uh, nice, they're in stock now. So if you want us to fit it to your radio, uh, we can do so as well. Uh, 279.95 for the device. And Radcom will be um, reviewing that. Don't ask me when, but they will be reviewing it because they've asked to review it. So uh, watch this space. Uh, and if it sells as half as well as the PTRX 7300, uh, we're going to have long queues. So I, I do believe we've only got the, just got them in stock, and not a lot of people know that, but you do now. Okay. Um, Messi and Pioni. Yeah, Ultraflex 7 Sahara. So over the last few weeks, you may have seen the video we did last week, Messi and Pioni have faced a little bit of delays getting some coax to mm. us. Uh, one of those is unfortunately the Ultraflex 7, but we do have the white-coated Ultraflex 7 Sahara in stock. It's the same <coughs> specification. It's the same price. It's just got a white coating, which... I actually quite like. I do too. In fact, my uh, building, my home, is painted white. So I would choose that every time over black coax. So, um, good idea. Blends in quite happily. Two pound a metre in stock available. And whilst it doesn't look very uh, wide in diameter, that will outperform your M67 RG213. So don't underestimate it. MP, uh, and if you haven't seen the video that... Um, yeah, last week with... Yes. With uh, Stefano Messi, with yes. uh, Tony and Gary. Yeah, that was good. So look on our video uh, uh, channel on um, MLANS TV, which you're probably watching this on, and you'll see the interview with the owner of the factory uh, in Italy last week. Finally, um, on items, the Wuxon 9, uh, I think it's now a 980 PL. Crack, I can't keep up with them. Uh, the 980 PL is something that I discussed with the factory or the original version of this um, to uh, put four meters on it. Um, so I do believe it's got ten, six, six, four, two, seventy. Yes. So instead of um, having ten meters, I persuaded them to put four meters on it. So this is a quad band a transceiver, um, very very popular. Nobody else. Um, in fact, there are a few other manufacturers now that do four meters. There are a few. Are a Any few. tone is starting to do so. Yeah, they started jumping on the uh, on the bandwagon. I don't blame them. But Wuxon really is a brand leader in this. All solid die cast chassis, good audio again, a nice clear display. And yes, the front panel does come off. That's the UV980 PL, PL for low band. And those are 27995 at the moment. So if you're looking for a good rig for the shack or the car, that's the one to go for. Um, moving on from equipment, we're still looking for used items. If you've got any used kit lying around the shack you want to turn into money or indeed trade in, please do. Secondly, we're looking for new members of staff, uh, sales guys. If you're looking for a part-time or full-time job, uh, please give um, Tony or Dan a call at the store. We're actively recruiting for yet more people to join us. Um, any age, any group, 
give us a call uh, or drop us an email at recruitment at hamradio.co.uk or just give us a ring. Um, preferably local, because if you have to drive miles and miles here, you'd be tired and probably want to go for a, a nod when you get here. So, um, but it's open to everybody. And we've got a lot, quite a few members of staff who come from different countries. Um, let's see if we can uh, encourage people from the UK as well to uh, apply for a job. So that's in sales. We're also looking for more engineers. So um, nothing to lose. You want to change in um, profession. Now's the time. Um, anything else, Jonathan, you can think of? Oh, Harrow Radio Club. Yes, you were. Yes. Yes. I went to the Harrow Radio Club. I was delighted to be invited along to their 75th anniversary of the Harrow Radio Club in Harrow, and that's not your, uh, is there, there's a Harrogate in Yorkshire, this is definitely Harrow Middlesex. And I used to go to the Harrow Club when I was 12, 13 years old, uh, and um, went for many, many years, and I was their guest speaker, and told them all about when I first started, etc., etc. But um, it was very good, the food and drink was excellent. I'd like to thank Peter, G4 White said, and everybody else for making me feel, so, G3 White said, I think it is? Yes. G3 White said for making me feel so welcome. Tony uh, visited me as well. And I do believe we've got some photographs that we'll put up uh, within this video. Anything else? Uh, don't forget to be subscribed to us on YouTube to get uh, the Saturday live video, uh, the weekend webcast. Yeah. Uh, that'll be back, so make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. And of course, uh, if you aren't already, make sure you're signed up to the newsletter, hamradio.co.uk. All the way down to the bottom, the yellow banner, pop in your email address, and you'll get a weekly email from us. Simple as that. So until next time, it's goodbye from me, and bye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye.